Oh man, I've got uh I got started uh playing drums uh when I was a little kid. I uh, played a lot uh, at church. Um you know, I uh, I used to sit like right on the the front row of the church, you know, with my sticks in hand, you know, air drumming cuz I wasn't quite good enough yet to actually play. But um I was probably like maybe the first time I actually remember playing my like by myself without the aid of anyone else or sitting on someone's knee. Um, I was uh, like six, like maybe five or six, uh, and I'm 32 now, so yeah, it's, it's been a minute, man. It's, it's been a while. I've been playing for a few years. Uh, the first band, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it's embarrassing. I was uh I was involved in this this band in high school um, back in in like D.C. Maryland. There's a a a, a big um, following for like gogo -go music. Uh, gogo -go music is just kind of like uh, drums and percussion, like really heavy, um, really cool, really cool stuff. Uh, great rhythms and a lot of great players. But um, I remember in, in high school, my my the band that I, I played with was called Butt Sweat butt sweat band and show because our, our our motivation was we wanted to crank so hard and make it feel so good that we made your butt sweat and that that's that's where the name came from that's embarrassing i don't think i've ever told anybody that i think i tell everyone my my first band was the gideon band because that's like the first band i really started like playing out with but yeah for some reason i thought back to to that that's embarrassing Uh, let me see. Uh, drummers that inspire me. Um, it's so many, dude. It, it's it's it's. I can't. I mean, it's it's so many. I, we could be here for a minute just naming them. I mean, the the first cats that I remember seeing were like a lot of the gospel drummers, like um, uh, Gerald Hayward or uh, Mark McQuitty or uh, Joel Smith, Jeff Davis. Um, as I got older and I got into other cats like Dennis Chambers, Omar Keem, Steve Gadd, uh, Dave Weckl, uh, Vinnie Caliuta, and t to those days, those, those guys still really inspire me. Uh, I'm even inspired by a lot of the new cats like uh, Tony Royster, Ron Bruner, um, Thomas Pridgen, um, Stanley Randolph. It, it, it's it's so it's so many so many cats that you know anyone that's that's you know just playing, you know, has the heart to sit down and in front of a kit and, you know, play what's on their heart or what they're feeling. To me, that's inspiring from, like, these little kids that you see on YouTube to, you know, these, you know, old giants and legends in this, uh, this drumming game. So, I mean, it's, it's, yeah, a lot. Don't do it, because I want to keep working as long as I can. You know, if uh, you're thinking about playing drums, man, don't do not do it. Just stay where you're at. Yeah, play guitar, piano. Those guys, they make a pretty good living. I want to be able to do this for as long as I can. And if you guys are coming up after me, that's not a good look for me. Keep that in mind. I'll break your legs. No. <laughs> uh, so you, you cats coming up, man, I, I would... You honestly, man, just say, um, just uh, put your heart into it, you know, and enjoy what it is that you do and have fun with it and um, try to find your own voice and your own individuality, you know. There's so many cats that um, that are do what it is that we do and uh, it's, it's great to have people with these new approaches and these, you know, fresh ideas and concepts, so just, uh, you know, go after it. Uh, man, I, I love to, you know, have fun and, you know, chill. Love to hang out with uh, the good guys here at Zildjian. Mm-hmm. Aaron over here. Great name, by the yes, way. Yes. Thought yeah. I, yeah. Good models. Yep. John, I mean, I just like to chill, man. You know, have fun. A lot of, a lot of times, you know, cats don't, don't get it, but I think life, you know, you need balance, you know. So, you know, you play hard, you know, on your instrument and stuff. You need to be able to play hard and have fun in life, you know, just, 
do things sometimes outside of music, you know, whether it's, you know, hitting the movies. Like when I leave here, I'm going to the movies tonight to see District 9. I'm kind of excited about it. I don't know if it's good or not, but, you know, it's, it's going to get my money tonight. You know, and after that, maybe hang out with some friends, <laughs> grab something to eat, get some sushi, chill. I mean, you know, it, that's, that's me. That's what I like to do. I just like to just enjoy life. And a lot of times that's outside of drums and shedding and all that other kind of stuff, you know. Got to have balance. Hope that answers your question. Cool. Dude, um, whew, that's a good one. Stripping? I don't know. I kind of got the bod for it. No, I don't know, man. Um, maybe something with computers because I really, really love computers. Um... That's a lot of fun for me, so maybe uh, that might be it, you know? Yeah. And then what? Project-wise, like what are you doing and coming up? Uh, I, um, I recently, this uh, early this year, like in May, I just recorded a uh, DVD with Hudson, uh, and it comes out in October. Uh, this DVD is uh, it's like a solo... Uh, drum instructional type DVD, whatever. I don't have the fancy Hudson name for it, but it's, it's just uh, me playing a few songs and explaining my concepts and uh, feel as far as uh, relates to drumming. Uh, also, uh, Jojo Mayer is uh, he's uh, guest appearing on the DVD. He uh, he interviews me and we talk about a lot of different things from you know drums to you know just life, man. So uh, that comes out in October. Hopefully, you guys will pick it up. That's about it. Anything else you want to say to the Zildjian Nation? Uh, Zildjian Nation. <laughs> Listen up. Like he's warming up. What's your favorite flavor pop dog? Come in closer. <laughs> Stay strong. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's all I had to say. <laughs> I didn't really have anything to say there. I'm sorry. I, I was trying to think of something cool. It didn't work.